In this short video, I'll discuss reporting within OnTime. You can select from any of our available reports by going to Tools, Reporting, and then select from any of the reports you would want to run. This will generate a PDF file, including all of the items which are currently listed in your view. OnTime will include only the items in your current view in the reports, including any of the sorting criteria and grouping as well. This is extremely helpful because if I want to run a report on only open items, I can just apply my filter. I can group by the assigned to field by right clicking and selecting group by. And we'll click priority to sort by the priority field. And I'll make it inverted to show the highest priority items first. Now when I go ahead and run that exact same report, I'll see only the open items, grouped by the assigned to field, and have them sorted in decreasing order of priority. These built-in reports are extremely flexible and meet the needs of most of our customers. However, if you want to modify any of the columns, which are actually displayed in the report, you would just need the OnTime Reports Manager, which can be downloaded from ontimenow.com. You can see the categories of all of my reports, We've got built-in reports for defects, user stories, all items, projects, work logs, or other reports, which is useful for local installations where you'd be able to write your own SQL query. But for most of these, we'll return all of the fields you would need, including any custom fields for the item and for customers. Then in the middle section, we will see the reports themselves, which include all the logic to build the report. And then on the right, we will see the report shortcuts, which is what is actually displayed from the Reports menu in your instance of OnTime. To modify any existing reports, you would just need to select the report you would want to modify. I'll use the Defect List Report, which is a great summary report. Create a copy of it. And now you can edit the copy just by double-clicking. So this is the OnTime Report Designer, and this is what is actually used when designing the report. You'll be able to see all of the columns in the report themselves, and a list of the available fields. Just expand Fields, and then expand the Bound section. So if you would want to change out in any of these existing columns, for instance, I would want to change the Reported by field, which lets us know which user reported an item. And perhaps I would want to change that to the customer field. For that, all I would want to do is just select the title, then go ahead and change the text. And then you would just delete the field where you're storing the data and drag any of the fields over from the right. For this example, I will use the reported by customer name field and just drag it on the menu. We'll also change the font to 8 point to match the other text boxes. Now I'll just go ahead and save the report and update the report shortcut name to show that it's my custom report. Now within OnTime, if I go to the reporting menu and select defects, I can see my new report. And now when I look at the report, I will be able to see all the customer names next to each item. For more information on reporting, as well as customizing reports, please view our documentation at ontimenow.com support. And thanks for viewing.